worthy of your praise. Hallelujah. We're glad to be here today. We're glad that you're here with us. We don't want to be here by ourselves, but we are glad that you are here with us so we can celebrate and lift up Jesus together. Amen? Amen. Uh, we are, um, we're just family that has come together um, in Logan County, the city of Logan, and I am glad to be here. This is my hometown. If you didn't know it, I might be shouting out to some people here. Hi, this Bonnie, this Bonnie. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this is my hometown, born and raised here. 1973 was the year I was born. I know I, I know I don't look 48. I know. I know I don't look 48, but don't say I look older either. <laughs> but we're so grateful. Born to uh, Leroy Shaw and Deborah Shaw. And there's a dog, but he looks good. He looks like he's okay. I, I ain't running yet. <laughs> but uh, Pastor Leroy Shaw is my father. Pastors of Taplin, West Virginia. And uh, Minister Deborah Shaw, who was my mother, who's gone on to be with the Lord. Um, they raised me in the fear of God, and I'm so grateful. Amen. Amen. We need a little more of that today. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Come on, parents. Let's get these children and raise them in the fear and admonition of the Lord. Hallelujah. So they can go on and do great things. Amen. I have my stepmom, Rebecca Shaw here. I was going to say Turner. Used to be Turner, but Rebecca Shaw. We thank God for her. Amen. Pastor Walter Jackson. My uncle here, pastors of Whitman, West Virginia, original glorious church. Amen. You got saved. All right. What's your name? Matt Burkhammer. Say it again. Matt Burkhammer. Matt Burkhammer. Okay. God bless you. Bishop Rosine Jackson, Pastor Rosine Jackson. Anybody know her? She's gone on to be with the Lord. My grandmother. Amen. God bless you. Good to see you. That's better than her. Amen. We have so many, and I'm not going to call everybody because I know I'm not going to get everybody, but uh, we have from Detroit, Michigan, uh, Bishop Reginald Bluestein, who has traveled all the way down here. His wife, Lady Candace Bluestein, who will be ministering in song as well. Amen. We have uh, Lady Sharon Shaw. Amen. From Real Life Christian Center Church in Huntington, West Virginia, where the pastor is Bishop Charles Shaw. And they are natives. He is a native of Logan, West Virginia. Amen. So, and her daughter, Sharice, uh Hunter now, she's going to be blessing us as well. Amen. So I'm not going to prolong it, but we're going to get right in and we're going to just give God praise with a uh, with a prayer right here. And I'm going to ask our Pastor Leroy Shaw, would you like to just lead us in a word of prayer real quick? You can have your seat. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy unto us. We thank you for this time that you enable us to gather together to give your name glory, to give your name praise, and to honor you. Yes. Also to honor those that are working, yes. those that are continuing lifting up the name of the Lord. So yes. the word declared, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Come on. And the righteous, they run into it. And they are safe. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to run into your name. Thank you, thank you for being our safety zone. Hey, God, we can run to and be safe in you. We thank you for this opportunity that you've given unto us to come together and magnify your name. And Father, we just thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. I have my sister here, Melissa. Come on, she and my baby brother here. He don't look like my baby, my baby brother. <laughs> Ernest, 
And we have a crew back here. Oh, this is my daughter, Deborah. Krishna, she's going to be helping us. We have Brandon Shaw from Real Life Church in Huntington, West Virginia. His brother, Charles Shaw, from the same place. We have Ron, Ronnie Hunter back on the drums from Real Life Christian Center Church. And let me say the best for last. <laughs> My wonderful husband, Deacon Michael Christian from Columbus, Ohio. And we have, I think I said Candace Bluestein. All right. All right. Let's get ready to give God some glory. Amen. Hallelujah. I've heard some things going on in this city that I'm not real um, satisfied with. And I thank God for putting the burning in my heart to, to come home and to share in ministry, share in a song and worship the word of God. And um, how many of you know that we need the presence of the Lord? Amen. Amen. People walking around. You wonder, well, what's wrong? Why can't they come out? We need the presence of the Lord. There's no way we can make it without him. There's no way we can do it without him. Life is no good without Jesus. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. And I'm here to encourage you tonight. And we're here to point you to Jesus even a little bit more. And those who know God, we hope that you leave here refreshed, renewed strengthened and if you've been out of focus we hope that you are reset tonight amen all right <laughs> hallelujah does, it, does anybody know what the highest praise is hallelujah there we go Come on. 
Come on like now. never before. So we're here. We're going to lift up that praise and just lift your voices and just say hallelujah. hallelujah. Lord, we know that you come in on the praises. We lift up the praises, whatever your praise is to God tonight. Just begin to open your mouth and let your praises ascend to the heavens. Let your praises ascend to the King of kings and the Lord of lords, knowing that he will meet you right here. Right here. Hallelujah. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. Nothing can compare. You are our living hope. Your presence, Lord.
I wonder, can you sing it, Holy Spirit? Here, come on, let him in. Come for love, give place and fill the atmosphere. Fear your glory, your glory. Yeah, yeah. High and low, oh God. To be overcome, to be overcome by your presence. Your presence, your presence, your presence. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Hey, I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes. It can be. 
I thought about the blind Bartimaeus in the Bible. I'm sure many of you have heard the story. He was a blind man, and because he was blind, he was put in a beggar position. <clears throat> but he heard one day that Jesus was coming through town. And I'm here to let you know Jesus is in your town tonight. Come on. He heard that Jesus was coming through town. And those that were around, he, and he just got wind of it. Because Jesus was doing miracles, signs and wonders and, and healing and, and, and things that normal people couldn't do. But he heard one day that Jesus is coming. And I believe he got in his mind and he said, this is my chance. This is my opportunity. This is my moment. And I don't want to miss this moment. So what did he do? Somebody give me an example of what you thought he did. Jesus. Uh -huh, uh -huh, that's it. He did. He called on Jesus. And those that were around, you know, they were probably a little bit embarrassed because, you know, Jesus, he, his name had went out and he was getting to be famous. And he was probably, the, the town was probably embarrassed and, you know, wanted him to be quiet. Hush, hush. Don't call him so loud. Be quiet. And sometimes our circumstances will want to make us hush. Come on. And shut our mouth. Oh, but come on. But the devil come on. is a liar. As the song says, we will not be silent. But we will worship the living God. Hallelujah. So he called him even the more. Somebody give me another example of how you think he called him even the more. Jesus. And it stopped Jesus in his tracks. The enemy may have you thinking that you don't have a right to call on Jesus. Even if you're listening around town, he may have you thinking that you don't have the right to call on Jesus. Come on. But I'm going to tell you, Jesus came to save the world. He didn't come for those who are already perfect and right. He said, if you're not sick, you don't need a physician. Hallelujah. But he came for those who were sick. Those who were, who were uh, demon possessed. Those who were uh, uh, addicted. Those who were depressed. He came for those who were lost. Who couldn't find your way. You couldn't see. Blind Bartimaeus couldn't see. He couldn't see. And sometimes when things are blocking us, things are going on that has us so blind. We're just groping around in the dark trying to find our way. But we don't have to grope around in the dark. The answer is right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. The answer is right here. Ooh. And the answer is Jesus. Yeah. I thank God. <laughs> oh. Do you understand? I've had to call on Jesus more than once. <laughs> when I called him from a sincere heart because I was desperate because I was desperate because I was desperate and I needed more than myself I needed more than my husband I needed more than my children I needed more than my church family I needed Jesus You got to get to that place where you realize that you know, I need Jesus.
that is strong against the shall prosper. And every lion tongue that rise up against this great state of Virginia, we call it a lie, and the devil is defeated. We don't take anything from the enemy, but we call on the name of Jesus. Do I got some believers in here? Thank you. 
grace in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, oh power, oh wonder work and power is in the prayer. His blood. When I'm back in Huntington singing, when I sing the song, I think of these hills, these mountains. It says, it reaches to the high, yes, mountain. Oh, when it flows to the lowest. He went to the hospitals. 
He went to the side of the road and he ministered to those who needed him. So I'm here to let you know today, God, he is right here for you. And whatever you need, he'll be that. And more. whatever you need, God will be that and more. Come on, somebody, get God a praise out here. You're worthy. You're worthy, Jesus. You're worthy. Oh, God, I thank you for your peace. Your peace. Even in the midst of a pandemic, I got peace. Come on. Come on. I refuse to run around frantic and, and scared. And, oh, yeah, I'll put my mask on. No, I ain't going front. But <laughs> I believe God will protect me. And when that happens, was minded like I heard someone say, even if the worst does happen, God is going to bring you. Amen. Even if the worst does happen, because sometimes you can't faith everything away. God knows I would love to. I can't faith everything away. I can't faith every trial away. But God will keep you and cover you when you're going through those hard times. Amen. He will cover you. And guess what? He'll bring you out. Amen. You out. Oh, come on, God. will bring you out. I'm a living witness. Like I said, I don't want to labor the time. But I thank God for, I think it's 20, 22 years post kidney transplant. My father was my daughter. No rejections. I praise God for that. Amen. 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 Okay, what am I saying? Thank you, Jesus. I just want to be obedient. Yeah. Good, good father. He is a good, good father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
And I'm saying that because you know when you felt the power of God. It's, it's not like feeling even a hug from a loved one, although that's good. Hug from a mother, hug from a father, a sister, a brother, or your child. That's good. That's all good. But God is saying in this last day and in these last days, he said, I'm coming to pour out my spirit. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that he came. He so loved. And when I think about the so love, I think that he gave his best. <laughs> he gave the best that he had. You know, I don't know about you today, but we're living in such a time and in such a day. People have become so self-centered. They become so selfish. It's all about me. It's all about I. It's all about what I want. But in this day and time, we need a savior. We need a savior. We need somebody that means what they say and say what they mean. We need somebody that can leave the best. <laughs> See, Jesus had the best. The angels were praising him day and night. Giving him a hallelujah praise day and night. And what I like about this thing is, <laughs> he didn't have to do it. My God, he didn't have to do it. He said at one time, nobody took my life from me. Nobody took it. The devil couldn't take it. People couldn't take it. That wasn't what it was about. But the Bible tells me that he laid it down. <laughs> he laid it down. You got to look tonight. You got to think about this thing tonight. We're going to be held accountable for this thing tonight. Oh my God. He said, I laid it down. And you know what else? He said, if I lay it down, I got the power. I got the power. Look, 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 look. Listen to what I'm saying. He said, not only will I lay it down, not only will I lay it down for God's so love, for God's so love, when nothing else can help me was love that lifted me. I don't know about you. Come on now. He said, but I have the power to pick it up again. Not only did he lay it down, but he picked it back up again. And then this is what I like about it. He said, listen, one thing. He said, you ain't seen all of this yet. He said, although I'm going away to prepare a place for you, receive you. I'm coming back to receive you unto myself that wheresoever I am <laughs> there you may be also. I want you to hear what God is saying tonight. Listen to what he's saying. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what you're into. It doesn't matter what you've been. It doesn't matter how low you've gotten. My God, see, some people will tell you you've just gone too low. It's too late. It's all over for you. But what I like about him is, he said, I'll go wherever I need to go. I'll go in the alley if I have to go in the alley to get you out. It doesn't matter how I go in the hospital room. It doesn't matter where you are. He said, I'm I come. He said, I come. He said, my Lord, Lord is with me. I'm going to pay every man. Don't you want to be ready? 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 I'm extending an invitation tonight. It's not too late. It's not too late. It's not over for you. God has sent people out of their churches and from behind their doors or across the railroad, across the highways, oh my God, across Route 10, across other routes, 71, my God, just to come and tell you today, 
Amen. That he has not forgotten you. I want to tell you at this time, if you need prayer, if you believe what was said, said in the song, if you believe that God cares about you and that God still loves you no matter what, I'm extending an invitation. I'm telling you to come. The spirit says to come. The bride says to come. Whosoever will, let him come. If the drunkard wants to come, I wouldn't I would stay hidden behind my God in my car or behind the building tonight because the Bible lets me know if the drunkard wants to come, you need to come. You need to come now. You need to come on out from behind your stuff. I don't care. You're a bad lady. You're a bad man. You need to come on before it's too late. God is knocking. Can't you hear him? God is calling. Can't you hear him today? Oh my God, you can come right now. You can come right now. He'll change your life. He'll turn your life around. Yes, he will. I'm just a witness today. Just I'm just a witness. I was lost and undone. Just like everybody else. Oh my God, but what time God, time God came seeking for me. He came looking for me. And I had about given up. My life was going down in a spiral. I had about given up. But God, but God is calling you today. Can't you hear it? Can't you feel it?